Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I am here in Blackpool. I am in the central area of Blackpool. This street here is called Henry Street, just by the football ground. Just over here, Bloomfield Road Stadium, the home of Blackpool Football Club, of course. And these houses behind me on this street here, you see those houses there? They're all being bought up by the club so that they can build a new east stand to replace this temporary one, which was built for the um, the Premier League season when we were in the Premier League it was only meant to last about 10 years and it's still there now it's like a temporary stand so it's all going to be changed around here when they eventually buy all these houses and develop this part of land but what I want to do in this video is I want to take a walk down Central Drive I've not been down Central Drive for a while so I thought we'd take a little look down there the last time I went down there I was counting all the Turkish barbers along the uh, the shopping the shopping area and I think there's about seven of them uh, so I thought we'll take a little look around here and then we'll head on to Central Drive and uh, we'll see what it's like, shall we? Did I mention that it's only about half past seven in the morning? And it's very, very still this morning, yeah. A little bit drizzly, but that's that row of houses there on Henry Street. And there's even like, what's that there? It's like a, it's like a mobile home or something. Did someone live in that? Look at that. Wow, that's proper ramshackle that, isn't it? I bet they didn't pay much for that, did they? And just here we've got a bit of spare land, so it looks like there was probably a house there. But no more. Looks like it's been empty for ages. But there's a the road has been blocked here a long time ago. You used to be able to go straight through. We've got this firm here, um, Firwood, building supplies. Very, very popular. I go there myself, Firwood. But <laughs> It's not the uh, the tidiest looking building, is it really? Look at that there. I think it used to be called Forbes, if anyone could let me know. Did it used to be called Forbes? I know my dad used to come here. I'm going back to the, going back to the 70s now. But uh, we'll just make our way around here. It is a little bit rough around the edges here, isn't it? Look. I think there's an abandoned car over there, we'll check that out in a minute, but uh, yeah, so this is Firwood and as you can see we're, we're pretty much slap bang right next to the football ground there. There's a sign on there, look, female friendly Firwood. Uh, don't see too many females in, in building yards, do you really? Just up here we've got these big shutters here which sort of shut off this road here from the car park just behind there for the the football ground that's the north stand who remembers the spy on cop the spy on cop yeah right there big open like big oh it was a horrible thing it was <laughs> open to the elements mainly for the away supporters of course we'll shove them out in the rain shall we we've got this uh, big building here i think it's a garage this is Corton Beach Garage, by the way, yeah, Central Drive. It looks like, is that car been abandoned? That's quite a nice looking car, that as well, isn't it? Is it a Citroen, what, Citroen C4? Yeah. Uh, definitely been abandoned, that. But anyway, we'll head up this way. The garage over there, look, coastal garage. And as you know, I've probably mentioned before, but all the alleyways, well, not all of them, but nearly all the alleyways in, in Blackpool are fenced off. This one, uh, gated off, should I say, this one's open. And as you can see, they, they, were, they were gated off to stop people dumping stuff. And as you can see, look, got some fridges here being dumped down here, look. Look at that. But apart from that, it doesn't look too bad down there. It looks quite tidy. Anyway. Yeah, so it is a little bit of a rundown area around here. 
and I've spoken about Central Drive before. It used to be really, really popular in the olden days. I used to go there shopping. This is Central Drive now. It's actually quite a long road. And just across the road, we've got a park called Revo Park. Pretty rare to have a green space around here in Blackhook because we're in the central area now and the central area is very devoid of green spaces now. If we were to look this way, down Central Drive, that takes you to the more upmarket part of Central Drive, if you want to call it that. It takes you down towards St Anne's Road, Waterloo Road. But we're going to be heading this way, past this garage, Corton Beach, and we're going to head right into the town centre. And what I'll do is I'll just keep the, I'll just keep the camera rolling. I won't I won't stop it. So we've got this petrol station here which has been here for years and years. You can see the back end of the school over there, Revo. Revo school down there. Now just here is interesting because I have shown it before, but this is where the Mecca used to be, and as you can see. We've got this quite big open area here, big massive field. They're going to be building houses. Well, in fact, they are. They've already built the first stage of the Foxhall Village development. Now, we've got this massive area here where the Mecca used to be. Absolutely huge building. Dancing, nightclubs, shops, a bowling alley. It was also the Commonwealth Snooker. That's where the, the, the professionals used to go there as well, the Commonwealth. So it's a huge building that took up all this space here. And on the very end, just up here, it had a multi-storey parking lot. Sorry, just had to get that in. <laughs> yeah, so it was knocked down. And I didn't even film or take any pictures of it being knocked down. I think it was about 2010 or something like that. I can't remember. Just over the road, we've got some quite interesting looking houses here, but they're very, um, very uh, subsided, some of these houses. I don't know if you can tell, but they seem to lean down quite badly. There's some pretty bad subsidence in this area here. Can you see the tower over there? Look, ooh, there, Blackpool Tower. And Bingo 3000, of course, very, very popular, that Bingo 3000. We've got the Taco Bell there. So this little space here where we are now is where that uh, multi-storey would have been. But we're going to carry on. Along Central Drive. Got another garage there, Westmoreland Garage. There's a street there that goes up to... That goes up to Grasmere Road. That, that street's been blocked. They block off so many streets, don't they? So we're now heading on to this section of Central Drive, which is kind of like the butt of old jokes, really. This is where it starts to get quite interesting along this bit here. There's a spare plot of land over there. Look, if anyone fancies it, they fancy buying that spare plot of land. It's been empty for a long, long time, that. Yeah, so we used to come down here in the olden days to do our shopping. You had butchers, fishmongers, all that sort of thing. You still do, you still had a butcher up until not too long ago. A bit of work in progress going on around here, I think. Well, we'll see what they've got, shall we? Got a Chinese here, Oriental Chop Suey Bar. That door looks like it could do with a bit of a clean, what do you reckon? Wow. My goodness, I don't think I'd like to open that door. It's dirty as anything. I think I'd have to wrap my hand in, in a tissue or something. A 
house for sale there. Move Homes Limited. Hmm. Wonder how much that house is going for. But anyway, we are now up to check it out. Let's go over here, shall we? We have now got the Revo Library. Now, that, looking at that building there, it's very dominant and it looks straight down Central Drive, as we'll see in a minute. It kind of takes you back to the time when they built it and it makes you think that this area must have been, well, a lot better than it is now. Not saying it was ever the poshest of areas, but, but certainly when this building was put up, I'll just show you the view of the tower. Just look at this now. Look at that. Cracking view of Blackpool Tower, straight down Central Drive there. It's really quiet. Shouldn't be any beer monsters around at this time in the morning, should there? Anyway, let's have a look at the blue plaque because it's got a blue plaque. In fact, it's got two. Frank Swift, England goalkeeper. Hmm. There's one for a footballer there. And just up there, we've got the blue plaque for the library. 1904. 120 years old. There you go. Little bit of weathering on the sandstone there. But there you go, that's a little look at the Revo Library. Let's have a look around here. We've got a nice amnesty bin around here. I've shown that before. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah. I thought for a minute it wasn't there, but yeah. Just over here, we've got a nice amnesty bin around the back of the bus shelter. I personally don't think that these do any good. You know, that's just my own opinion. That doorway there leads into the building. And if you look up there, it says gymnasium. See, so it's a gymnasium as well. The library and gymnasium. I think this bin could do with them, what do you reckon? Phone boxes look a little bit abused. It's actually got a phone in it, look, wow. So we're now heading on to Central Drive, the shopping area now. A little bit of green space here, look. They've got plants on Central Drive, look, formians. Let's just turn you around and we'll have a little look at the library again. Look at that building. Grand, isn't it? Now that road straight ahead now is called Ashton Road. I've spoke about it a few times because most of the houses down there are all painted white. And I've mentioned that. Can you imagine if you're coming back from the pub and you're going back to your house and you live down there and you go into the wrong house? It must be easily done. What do you reckon? Yeah, we're in the land of Coronation Street now. Rows and rows of terraced houses around the back here. There's a building down there which looks like it used to be a church or maybe a Sunday school. I'm not sure the name of that road. But a lot of these buildings here that have the shops in, they have flats above them. Just up here we've got a Morrison's. Morrison's Daily. What's this road called here? That road is called Rydal Avenue. doesn't it? Check it out. That's rather fancy, that shop there. Atherton's Carpets, they've been here for years. Yeah, there's some proper old stores down here, you know, that have been going here for, for a long, long time. And they've got another store just over the road there, look. Carpets. 
some things never change on Central Drive. But I don't know what's going on with this building here. It doesn't look very pretty. I think it's just storage or something. Haven Foods Limited. Just over there, we've got the first Turkish barbers. I won't be counting them in this video, but I think there was about seven altogether. Quite a lot of shops closed. What's this one here, the Blue Lagoon? That one's closed. Is it a tropical fish shop or something? I think it was, yeah. And I'll just go and pass another convenience store there. Iceland. Grass verges could do with a bit of a cut. I wouldn't be the one. I wouldn't be the one that comes round to do this this job. <laughs> I wouldn't be the the one that has to come round and clean up round here. But uh, we're now at Ibison Court, and there used to be a planter there, a raised bed there, and I know the beer monsters used to sit on it. But it looks like it's been taken away. There's another one over there. Look. So I wonder what's happened to it. And they're putting something up just over here where the George pub used to be. I'll check that out in a minute, but I just want to have a little look up here. Ibison Court used to hang around here in the olden days with my friend, because his mum and dad lived on, on this estate just up here. This is the community centre here. It looks like they've let the grass grow wild. Or is it just because they can't be, they haven't got the money to cut it? I don't know. The big local revolution. I like that mosaic. That's nice, isn't it? So check this out. Yeah, Ibison Court. Yeah. I don't remember the grass being wild like this, though I'm sure they used to keep it all a bit neater in the olden days. Got a bit of a community garden going on around the back. Something for the people to get involved in of course Let's take a look over here because this this is where the George pub used to be the George pub and it's been empty ever since they knocked it down it's all been fenced off and they're actually building something this is probably something to do with the community pub I don't know what it is it's a big round thing and it seems to be on like a, a bit of an angle if anyone can tell me what it is let me know Let's have a little look. There you go. I, I'm not really sure what it was meant to be, but I know they've been working on it for ages and I saw people working on it right into the night. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. So, if anyone can let me know what that is. But we're making our way along Central Drive here in Blackpool. It's the butt of all jokes. But it is quite lively. It is. There's one thing about Central Drive, it might be a little bit run down. But it is lively. It is pretty lively. Especially at night. And uh, it's probably about quarter to ten, ten to eight now. So it's just starting to to wake up a little bit. I'll just show you this road here. This road, another barber on the corner there, as you can see. Kurdish barber, that one. That road there is called Belmont Road. If I turn around this building here, which hasn't really changed a lot. It used to be, was it Radio Cabs or J Cabs? It's now a Nova International Supermarket. As you can see over the road, we've got a charity shot. Spearman Butchers. I think that was the last Butchers. 
couple of empty looking shots there. We're making our way along Central Drive. I'm just going to cross back over again. We've got pawnbrokers either side of the road here. This street here is called Louise Street. So we'll just have a little look over this way, shall we? Quality meats. Convenience store. Central wash laundrette. All the windows have been broken in that. Carry on. We're now coming up to Bethesda Square where the old toilets used to be, with downstairs toilets. As you can see over the road, we've got more convenience stores. Tesco Express there, you get beer monsters lying on the floor outside Tesco Express. I don't think there's any on the floor at the moment. <laughs> Too early for the beer monsters, I think. We've got a car park here. This is now Bethesda Square. Down there, you can see that large building. That's called the Brunswick Working Man's Club, and it's still open. It is still open, but let's have a little look at these old toilets here that used to go downstairs to the Bethesda Square toilets. Um, yeah, did anybody go to those toilets? I think that was a men's bit. This, this was a women's bit, I, I might be wrong. Uh, sometimes get a lot of rubbish in here, collected in here, and the council have to come down and clear it all up. But at the moment, it looks to me like it's flooded down there. I might be wrong. I don't know. But that's that's the old toilets that they were notorious. But then again, weren't all public toilets notorious? Were there any of them that, that weren't? Well, you know, you can get people meeting up in there. You know. Well, it's waking up Blackpool, there's a bit of noise going on, we've got doing a little bit of roadworks or something over here. Just over there we've got the International Food Store, we've got a Vape King shop, we've got a Warwick's Amusement. Plenty of tattoo parlours as well, this one here is called Ins Inspired by Ink. The tower is getting bigger and bigger folks. We're getting very close to the town centre. Just over the road there is Palatine Road. Now that corner over there is the red light district of Blackpool, or the unofficial red light district. Uh, it's only a small, small area. It's pretty much that corner really, yeah. A little bit beyond it. We're getting very close to the town centre now. We've got a lamppost here that's wrapped up in uh, England flags, Walsall football flags, and that was a guy that was killed right here a couple of years ago and got killed. By, someone got out of a car and, and basically knocked him out and he ended up dying, yeah. Uh, don't know what it was about, but... Shocking, isn't it? I think it was all over. I don't really know what, it was just something that, uh, like an argument that built up into something. Just over there is a cigarette waste art gallery. This is where the beer monsters hang out, folks. Right here. On those steps there. Any of them steps to those flats. Alexandra Villa there. Do you get them on there? Imagine living in there, though. If you had a flat in there and you have to trip over all the beer monsters to get into your flat. It's not very nice, is it? But just round here, on this corner here, we've got this, con this um, cash machine here, which featured in a TV show. And it was 999, what's your emergency? And this is the cash machine where all the, all the people used to go to get the, to get their, uh, to get the benefits. I'm just gonna head across the road. We've got the uh, King Edward. They are trying to gentrify this area, by the way. They are trying to gentrify Central Drive. And the King Edward pub here is part of the, the new development. It's part of the new development, yeah, the 300 million pound central entertainment quarter. But uh, as you can see, we've still got, oh, thought a seagull was gonna dive bomb me there for a minute. That road there is called is it Reeds Avenue. We're just about to go past the, the entrance to the old picture hall. And that's got a blue plaque as well. Look, the Central Picture Theatre. You can freeze the frame if you want. 
got a very grand entrance. But um, I'll just pull back here a little bit. So I'm keeping this video rolling, I'm not, not cutting it. But there you go, that's a central picture theatre. I mean, it's only really the entrance, the rest of the building is pretty much bog standard. But that's part of the new development as well, they're going to be doing that up. And as I look this way, we've got the King Edward Apartments. I think they were built for railway workers. And that's been owned by the council for quite a long time, but look at it, it's all derelict, isn't it? It's been derelict for ages. Whenever the council buy anything, um, I think they're one of the, the worst culprits, aren't they, for buying stuff and then letting it get run down. But we've actually got a shop here that's, I think that's open. The flog purse is in there. But it, it's the only shop in this section here that's, uh, that, that looks open to me anyway. As you can see, it looks pretty rotten around here, doesn't it? And uh, just over the road here, we've got the House of Jokes, Drummond's. Cracking joke shop that was. And they had to close because that's getting knocked down. So there you go, the council bought that, that joke shop there. They bought it off them. And now they're gonna just let it go to dereliction until they build this new whatever it is they're gonna build. And you can see the new car park over the back there, the new multi-story parking lot. So I've done it again there, you see. I couldn't help myself. Just over there is where Central Station used to be, the railway station, just over here. The entrance is where the Coral Island, the Coral Island Amusements is. Was it the closure of the Central Railway Station that caused Central Drive to become so run down? Because can you imagine? Oh, I've just got to show you this, this. Stavonia Fish and chips. I must go in there sometime, yeah. I've spoken about it before. Estavonia. But we're now at Central Car Park. Getting quite busy. Getting close to 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm filming this on a Sunday. We'll just have a little look around here, shall we? There's the old cop shop over there. If you're watching this in about two years' time, I hope that that's gone. <laughs> this is the Blackpool Central Coach Station. Got a couple of beer monsters in this shelter up here. I'll, uh, I'll walk around the back. So this is where you come to Blackpool on the coach. Just going home. And there's me saying that there were no beer monsters around at this time. <laughs> they are absolutely, well, they look absolutely steaming, those two there. And it's only eight o'clock in the morning. Erin Foods wagon. Another Turkish barbers over there. Another tattoo, the new Central tattoo. So that was Central Drive, folks. Central Drive at Sunday morning from half past seven. And uh, there's the Coral Island, of course. That's where the Central Station building was right there where they all came in with the steam trains right into there and then you can see Blackpool Tower I'll just turn around here and show you this we've got the toilets they're the prison toilets then they had to put these fences around security fences to stop people uh, nicking into the toilets yeah look at that wow and we've got these plant pots here. Welcome to Blackpool, by the way. And welcome to our, our weeds. Yes. Uh, nice one, Blackpool Council. Yeah, yeah. That one's full of weeds as well. Yeah, nice dandelions. Oh, that one's quite a nice one, look. That looks all right. Yeah. Something a bit more substantial in this one. Oh, I tell you what, there's quite a few people around now. 
check it out. We're now here, Blackpool Town Centre. Just opposite the Castle Pub. Subway next door. That I remember when that was a black bag sale. I do, I remember that used to be a black bag sale. I went in there as well once, glad I didn't buy anything. Remember the black bag sales where they, they built up the excitement. They said, oh, we're going to give you this, we're going to give you that. Like a big hi-fi system or something. And then they put it in a black bag and you'd end up getting like a, some crappy little cheap Chinese radio thing or something like that. Mickey Finn's traditional fish and chips. Just over there is the Palmer Cafe. Now that's supposed to be still run by the same people that have owned it since the 70s, yeah? Do you reckon? Coral Island Casino. So, we've made it. Oh, they had to get another bookies in, didn't they? They just had to get another bookies in, William Hill. And finally, the last shop is a fish and chips. Just called fish and chips. Oh, meat, meat and place. Meat, 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 meat and place. Uh, for a second there, I didn't think they had a fancy name, but there you go, that was Central Drive in Blackpool, early morning. It's certainly warming up here now in Blackpool at eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. Lots of noise, lots of deliveries going on at all the shops. But that was a little look at the central area, including Central Drive. We took a walk all the way from the football ground and we made it here in the, to the town centre. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.